I eat blueberries like they're candy, which means if I'm gonna grow my own food at the homestead, I'm gonna need a lot more blueberry bushes. Over the past few years, I've been doing experiments by taking cuttings off the blueberry plants that I already have and trying to grow them into new plants. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of success, but I think I'm finally starting to get it dialed in. I'm Craig, and if you're new to my channel, I'm in the process of setting up a homestead and trying to live a more sustainable lifestyle. My channel is documenting that process along with some of my other tinker projects. Today, I wanna to talk about my blueberry plant cuttings. The tutorial I followed said to find a branch that was relatively new growth and to make a cutting right beneath a node. That way the node would have the ability to grow roots out of that. I also use this rooting hormone before I stick it in the soil. When we're talking about new growth, finding a thicker branch is kind of tricky when your plants aren't that big to begin with. I've had some mixed results with this experiment. As you can see, this is one that started to rot and when I pull it out here, you can see it did successfully make some roots on there. They're just real fine hair-like up there. But the stem here just died off after probably about two months of having this here. So that was kind of a bummer to have an experiment for two months end up dying. As you can see, I have a little graveyard going of some of my failed attempts. I'm having a decent amount of success with this last batch of cutting. So I'm gonna pull those out now and we'll talk about what I'm doing now different than what I was doing before. So I saw another tutorial that had left a few leaves on the branches and these ones have noticeably been doing better. I also switched up the soil. The soil mix on this is 50% cocoa fiber and 50% sand. You can see it's also in a pot with some drain holes at the bottom to make sure that it doesn't get too wet. Majority of the time I have it closed in this box here to make sure that it stays nice and humid inside of this container. I'll open it up for about an hour each day just to let it air out and that seems to keep it from getting too moldy. After making the cutting, I put some of this tree wound sealer on it and that seems to be helping it not to die off so quickly. These plants were looking pretty good until about a week ago when I started opening the container and letting more air in throughout the day. That's when they started developing spots with the brown stems where it looks like it's dying off. Here you can see it's also getting some splotches on the leaves which is definitely not good either. This is the only one that still looks super healthy, so I'm gonna have to baby that one. Hopefully the rest of them can bounce back, but that hasn't been my experience to this point. If you remember the Yacon video from a few weeks ago, you can see it's bounced back and it's got a new shoot coming out that looks really healthy. The top of it has died off, but you can still see some signs of life along that main stalk. And we have a few tadpoles still growing here as well. Usually I can get these plants to stay alive for about three months and then the stem starts turning brown and they die off. So if you have tips or tricks on what I'm doing wrong or ways I can improve upon my technique, please let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to make some adjustments. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates on the homestead.